Tom. Well, I'll answer for myself first, and then I'll let uh, Donald Trump answer certainly for himself. Uh, I think it's despicable. Uh, I think it's a clear case of them fearing there could be another Jesse Ventura and that they're going to stop in any way they possibly can because uh, for those of you that are national and weren't here in Minnesota when I ran, uh, at the point of the primary, I was only polling 10 percent, which means that if you went by their criteria, I would not have been allowed to debate and subsequently would have not won the election. And it also shows great fear on their part in the fact that a candidate like me can be at 10 percent and can turn around in a mere six weeks and win. And it's obviously clear to me that they don't want that to happen again. And uh, I think it's cheating the American public. I think, as I said, it's despicable on their part. And I would hope people would be as outraged about it as I am. Uh, the third, all other criteria and major party status is listed at 5%, 5% to be major party, 5% for federal funding and all that. Yet on debating, it's 15% now. And rest assured, if we came in with a 15%, they'd raise it to 20. It would be based upon whatever it takes to keep us out. Take a look at 92 when, when Ross Perot ran and got 19% of the vote. That's one out of every five people that voted, voted for Ross Perot, and yet the next election he was cut out of it. And I think that it's unfair uh, to put pollsters in that position. It's shirking the duty of what this committee is supposed to do. And uh, now they're putting it onto the pollsters. Well, it's the pollsters that decide. Well, a poll can be skewered. I can go out and get you a poll on anything you want and probably get the results that I want, just in how I conduct it. And I think it's, it's bad, it's terrible that, yeah, that lobbyists, professional lobbyists today are now deciding who will be allowed to debate for President of the United States. And it's obvious they don't want us in the Reform Party because we don't, they don't make money off us. They don't have influence with us. So typical to lobbying, they're being lobbied and they're now doing their lobbying. Pretty sad. Well, I agree 100 percent with Jesse. Uh, it's disgraceful. It's amazing that they can get away with it. The Republicans and Democrats are the ones that, as you know, chose the I guess you have three members of each and they're the ones that chose. Uh, if you look at your lobbyists and everyone else, they're all Republicans or Democrats. And I'll add one additional thing. I watched the Republican debate last night, and I'll tell you what, if the right person was debating against whoever the winner of that group is, they'd have a major impact on the election, because that was not a very, uh, a very inspiring group of people that I was watching last night. So I think they're very concerned. I think they're extremely nervous about it. Uh, and I also think that probably the law may be will be uh, changed in this case, or the rule may be changed in this case, Jesse, because it's just inconceivable to me that they can allow this to happen. Would you be willing to go to court to challenge it? I think I probably would. I mean, Pat Buchanan's right now in court. He's going to get nowhere probably, but the fact is that let him spend his money first. Let's see how he does. If he doesn't do it, we'll step in and maybe we can do something. But the fact is, it seems very, very unfair to me. But would either of you guys get 15%? I mean, I, well, I think this guy would, and I think Based on our polls, we would. Based on what uh, we've done internally, we would. If people think that I'm running, we do great. A lot of people say, oh, he's maybe not going to run. He's just having lots of fun. That's not the case. If people think that we're running, seriously running, we do very well. I just think it's unfair, though, regardless of that, to have such a high standard, a high criteria for a party that's a legitimate party that has a substantial amount of federal funding that's recognized and we're at some point during this process, somebody's going to be in all 50 states. Very unfair.